Hi, this is Zach Fulkerson, and in this installment of the Point of Care Ultrasound Lecture Series, we're going to be talking about the equipment that you're going to be using, so that once you get your hands on your ultrasound, you're going to be ready to go. We actually have two different ultrasound devices that you're going to use on a regular basis. The first is something called the Philips Lumify. Philips is a well-known manufacturer of ultrasounds over several years. And with these Lumifies, we have traditional phased arrayed probes. They're great at cardiac, abdominal, and obstetric exams. They will be hooking up to an Android device, which is provided with the ultrasound. Next is a Butterfly IQ. Butterfly is a new company, and they've made a slightly more versatile device. It can do high frequency, medium frequency, and low frequency ultrasound, something that traditionally we have had to use at least two or three ultrasound probes to achieve. And this is all done with a single probe. It connects to an iPad, which is also provided. So let's take a look at these one at a time. We are going to start with the Philips Lumify. Philips Lumify has a probe that connects right here to the bottom. This is a standard phased array probe, which means it works at low and mid frequencies. It makes it great at abdominal exams, cardiac exams, but not so good at nerve blocks, vascular access, or soft tissue sorts of purposes. If we want to change our exam, we go to this menu button over here, click that, and note I'm on abdomen right now. I can change over to fast, lung, cardiac, or OBGYN. Again, those sorts of exams that require a low frequency or deep structure sort of exam. Let's switch over to cardiac. My image is going to show up right here in the middle. And the main features that I'm going to be using are the gain, which is this knob over here. And I'm going to turn this up gain all the way up or gain all the way down so that's how I can control the gain on this the depth function note that my total depth in centimeters is shown right here so we are at 15 centimeters right now I can increase the depth all the way down let's see to 30 centimeters and I can decrease the depth all the way down to one centimeter but as you can see here you're going to get a pretty poor view with this particular phased array probe again the phased array probe is not used for um, for shallow structures only a couple centimeters so really the sweet spot here is going to be somewhere in the 10 to 15 centimeter range we can change modes a little bit. We can go to M mode, which looks at a particular line over time. So if I move this line around, it'll show me this line in the Y axis over time in the X axis. I can go back to my 2D mode. Anytime I want to do a still shot of an image, I can hit this freeze button and I can actually scrub my previous images back and forth like this. So it actually, has a moving cache of images that you can scrub back and forth if you want to go back and look at something that you just captured. One important thing for the cardiac exam I actually want to show you is the probe marker. So depending on which type of exam you're doing or which convention you're using, the probe marker is sometimes on the left of the screen or the right of the screen. Cardiologists tend to put it on the right of the screen. We're going to put it on the left of the screen because that is the EM convention and it makes it consistent with our other exams. So if, if for whatever reason you see this in the cardiac indicator is over on the right side of the screen, all you have to do is go to our menu. We go to settings and we scroll down to cardiac image orientation and we want to enable left right invert to be a horizontally flip. So if we do the cardiac left right invert, if we check that it'll put the indicator over on the left side. If I uncheck it, the indicator will be on the right side. And again, I'm going to check it again. So go back, settings, cardiac, left, right, invert. We're going to check that, go back. And once again, the indicator is over on the left side. So that is the Philips probe. Again, we're going to be using this primarily for cardiac, OBGYN, abdominal aorta, uh, any sort of abdominal exam, such as FAST exam. We're not going to be using this, again, for superficial structures. So not for vascular access, not for musculoskeletal, not for nerve blocks, and not for soft tissue. Next up, we're going to be talking about the Butterfly IQ. 
usually when you put the probe in the iPad, the app automatically comes up. If it doesn't and you need to get, get to it from the main screen, you just click on this butterfly icon <clears throat> and it'll take you right into the program. The probe itself looks like a phased arrayed probe. It looks very similar. The battery is actually inside. It's a little bit heavier than the Philips Lumify. And it's a little bit more of a versatile probe. Um, it compromises a little bit in how good the image looks, but as opposed to the Philips Lumify, this can actually do superficial structures. So this can do vascular access, nerve blocks, and soft tissue, in addition to cardiac, abdominal, OBGYN, and all of the deeper stuff that you're going to be looking at. So it's a little bit more versatile, but it compromises a little bit in image quality. Usually if you aren't taking an image for long enough, it'll do this auto freeze. So we're gonna tap on that. <clears throat> and we're gonna go through the basic functions that you're going to be uh, using. Again, if you wanna change an exam, you go to this heart down here. These are your presets. And you'll see a number of different uh, exams here. We're on cardiac right here. We can change to abdomen. We can change to musculoskeletal. We can change to soft tissue, etc. Let's go to cardiac real quick. Now, if you want to change the depth, note that the depth is all over here on the right side. That's the opposite side of the screen as uh, compared with the Lumify. And there are no knobs here like we had on the Lumify. Instead, all we're going to do is we're going to drag this down and drag this up to change the depth. Again, it auto freezes if you're not doing anything in a while. So we can drag all the way down to very shallow depth and we can drag up. And if you wanna change the gain, all you have to do is go to the right to increase the gain, to the left to decrease the gain. We talked about a couple of different modes like M mode before. So if I wanna to go to M mode, I'm gonna hit this button over here. That's my modes. And just like we did before, we're gonna click on M mode. We're gonna move this line over with time. And again, my Y axis is the depth. My X axis is time in M mode. If I wanna go back to my regular 2D mode, I hit this. And again, we're in cardiac mode. We talked about before this indicator is on the right in standard cardiac format. It's over on the left in the EM and radiology format. And we've been using the radiology and EM format for the sake of consistency. To move this over, all I have to do is tap this, excuse me, there we go, is tap that at the top and it'll move it from the left to the right or vice versa. So if I tap again, it'll move to the right. If I tap that way, it'll move to the left. So again, the left is what we're going to be using for all of our exams. Again, if I change over to a different exam, we're gonna to go to, we're going to go to vascular. And you'll note that things look a little bit different the footprint is wider. This is made to look like a typical linear probe. A linear probe has higher frequency and the footprint is wider than a phased arrayed probe. For lung exams, we're gonna go over to lung presets. We're gonna to go to lung real quick. And lung, if we're really interested in only the pleura, we typically used a, if we're using a standard ultrasound, we use a linear probe. And so if I go really, really shallow, only a couple centimeters, it'll make it look like a linear probe. Again, I can change all of this stuff. Now, if I increase the depth, usually if I increase the depth on a standard ultrasound, I'm actually gonna change over to either a curvilinear or phased array probe, but look what happens with this. If I increase the depth, it automatically changes to something that looks more like a curvilinear probe, which is the type of probe that I would be using on a traditional ultrasound. So those are the two probes that we're going to be using. We've got the Philips Lumify, and the Butterfly IQ. I think they're both excellent devices. They have very intuitive interfaces. A couple of differences between the two, but I think you're going to enjoy working with both of them. Again, this has been Zach Fulkerson with the Point of Care Ultrasound Lecture Series.